Hi, I've got you at a different angle because this is an exercise that I wanted to share with you uh, for the fact that we've been talking all about energy and you've got some pains. <laughs> You may be have some crepitus in your neck, so I want you to check in with that. If you have crunchiness in your neck, I want you to, uh, first off, we're gonna, this is gonna be fun. So I want you to turn your head to the side and see how far you can turn it to the right. And now turn it to the left and see how far, what's your range of motion on the left, okay? And I want you to do this one with me. Okay, I'm going to take my right hand and I'm going to stretch it all the way up to the ceiling and maybe even over a little bit. At the same time, I'm stretching out my leg and pointing my toe and I'm just stretching it. And if you want to pull your toe, your foot behind you, just really get a nice, nice stretch. Feel that stretch Go all the way up, all the way up, and bring it back down. And turn your head to the right. If you notice anything different, turn it to the left. Mm -hmm. All right, so. If you're like me, you notice a little more range of motion when you turn to the right. So this is the tricky part. This is the part that is gonna, is really cool. And this is also working with that energy thing too. So I want you just to watch me. I want you to watch me and imagine that you are doing the same thing. I'm going to stretch my left arm up over my head. You are going to watch me. Stay just where you are, don't move. So I am stretch, stretch, stretching, and I'm taking my foot and my range of motion. I am really trying to get a nice stretch. In your mind, you can just imagine how that feels as I'm raising my arm just like you did on the other side, and you feel it. Ah, and now back down. Oh, now, you and me, we're gonna turn our head to the left. Yeah, a little better range of motion for both of us, right? That is how this works. Mind works. I know in Kundalini, they say, if you're just imagining the exercise in your head, you are doing it. Yeah, then maybe better to do it physically too, but you're getting such benefit out of just imagining that you're doing it. So that's how we're connected. And now, yeah, go ahead and stretch because it feels good. Do that left side. So how can you incorporate this in your day? Well, you can stretch just like I did. There's also, as you're getting ready and reading over your charts in the morning, you'll be connecting with that gold rod down your spine into the earth and up to heaven, right? I. I want to just get clear on, on the heaven thing. It's like universe, energy, whatever you see. If it, if it offends you, it's not my intention. Or if it resonates with you, I guess that's not really my intention either. I'm just trying to get a point across. So the stretching is good. And, and as you're listening to your patient talk about their trip to Spain, you can be stretching your fingers back, just giving them a little loving, a little attention. You can actually pretend like you're stretching your neck as you're listening or typing on the computer, just elongate. And every day, 
before you leave your office, you want to think of three things that you can really appreciate about the day. And if one of them is, I made it, that is good enough. But find even the littlest thing. If you had a potty break, big celebration. If someone smiled a little extra or you really accomplished what you'd set out to do, it's a cause for celebration. And on the way home, just sing your heart out listening to the radio. Enjoy and plan on singing your heart out on the way back to work tomorrow morning. I hope these tips helped. Helped you connect with the energy around you. Helped you connect with a resource that is so underappreciated. If I just opened your eyes a little bit, I've done my job. I've done what I set out to do. But if you feel like you'd like to know more, reach out. I'm here. Any way I can help. Because I, I want to see hygienists and assistants and receptionists and office managers and dentists thriving in their profession, not, not just surviving. And the ripple effect of a happy practitioner affects each patient that comes in and each family member that they connect with. And every cashier in the checkout line, if you're smiling at them, brightens their day. So it's been my pleasure to share with you. I would love to hear you share with me any insights, takeaways, or ways I could improve for you. So don't be a stranger. This is Sally DeCessory with Pain-Free Practitioner. Bye for now.